My general rule on questions like this, when I have a system of equations and both equations have two variables, because I'm just going to go to Desmos, I really just don't want to take a risk. I, I know that there are shortcuts. I'll show you some of them. But I don't know. Just to me, this feels like the easiest way. And, I and I'm slow because I'm talking and typing at the same time. But I don't know. This feels really easy if you're on a laptop instead of a tablet. You, you don't have to type like I'm typing with my fingers. You can just you know, type with a keyboard like a normal person. But there you go. We have to find the point of intersection because we need to get the values of x, y. So we do that first. We get 2, 3. So 2, 3. And then we're going to plug that in here. So uh, a bunch of ways to do it. I mean, you could just do it manually, I guess, at this point. It's not hard, right? 17 halves times 2 plus 18 times 3. The 2s cancel. That's 17. 18 times 3. Again, I hate typing on the iPad, but 18 times 3 is 54, so 17 and 54 must be 71 because, well, it's, it can't be 48, so there you go, 71. And that's done. Yeah, you know, um, again, you could have put this in Desmos to, to figure out that last bit. You just got to make sure you you actually figure out that last bit, um, that they're not asking for something, they're not asking for the value of X, they're not asking for the value of Y, right? They're asking for this kind of weird combination now, some of you, and I forget if the College Board's explanation does this, you're going to be like, ah, there's a shortcut. You can, you can just add these up, uh, and if you multiply this by 2, then you add them. You have 7 halves x plus 6y is 25, and now you have 10 halves x plus 12y is 46. Add those up. What's 10 halves and 7 halves? That's 17 halves x. Oh, that's exactly what we wanted. What's 6y and 12y? Oh, that's 18y, exactly what we wanted. What's 46 and 25? 46 and 20 is 66, plus 5 is 71. Ooh, what a great shortcut. No, that's crazy. What person thinks like this? If, if you do think like this, I, I will tell you to your face if I ever meet you, you are weird. This is not a normal way to think about math or numbers. Now, I'm happy for you that you have some special ability, but good Lord, why? Why are you like this? Just throw it in the calculator and see what happens. Now, others of you are going to do this in a much more traditional way where you kind of recognize that the six Ys will cancel out if we do some subtraction, right? So try to follow the, let's change from uh, to purple here. Try to follow the purple. I'm not going to rewrite the whole thing, but if I subtracted this second equation from the top one, I would end up with 7 halves x minus 5 halves x is 2 halves x. Uh, the 6 y's cancel, and 25, uh, 25 minus 23 is 2. Well, one, 2 over 2 x is just 1, so x equals 2. That's what we got. I know my 2 is ugly, but that's what we got. And then, okay, fine, we go here and we do 7 halves times 2 plus 6 y is 25. So these cancel, so minus the 7, minus the 7, 6y is 18, y is 3, that's what we got as well. That'll get you there, but look at how much more algebra we need to do. We need to deal with fractions, we need to deal with distribution, we need to think cleverly about how we're going to eliminate things, or we just type it in, and we tap a little gray dot. And then as long as you follow the instructions at the end, right, because we've got two trap answers with A and B, as long as you follow the instructions at the end, I don't really see what could go wrong. Make sure you type everything right in Desmos, but it's a computer. It solves this stuff for you. Just give it the right stuff and you get your answer.